Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from the Greek capital where Prime Minister Andoni Samaras has vowed to stop Nazi descendants, as he put it, from destroying the country. He stopped short, though, of pledging to ban outright Golden Dawn, the neo-Nazi grouping that is behind the deadly stabbing of a young musician earlier this week. Mr. Samaras made the nationally televised remarks as the young anti fascist rapper was buried and demonstrations continued to grip the country uh, for a second day. The Prime Minister described Golden Dawn as an enemy and accused it of poisoning democracy, society and acting with criminal impunity. Now we understand that while any attempt by the government, if not by any other uh, political party or even grouping of uh, Greeks would be uh, difficult to ban Golden Golden Dawn outright because of serious legal problems and constitutional hitches that this would face. The government is trying to bring this matter in from a different way using the public order ministry to go after the grouping's members instead. At least 32 files of criminal activities linked to an equal number of Golden Dawn members have been compiled and submitted to a Supreme Court prosecutor who in turn is expected to review and determine whether stitched together the Golden Dawn politicians and members in question were acting and have been acting under the criminal command of a criminal organization, a criminal grouping. The government and the Prime Minister though are boxed in an awkward situation. Since the grisly murder took place, one of the Prime Minister's chief advisors has taken to a string of public remarks lashing out against the main political opposition, the leftist Syriza party, saying it too was aiding and abetting criminal elements, that it too was inciting and fostering violence, and that it too effectively had no place in parliament. Now, Mr. Samaras showed no inkling of support for that idea in his public remarks. But if he ultimately does and the government acts on it, then we should be seeing similar roundups and dossiers being compiled against extreme leftist political forces and elements in a, a move that would no doubt add to additional unrest and trouble for the government. If the government, on the other hand, ditches this notion and this idea being put forward, then sooner rather than later, we may be seeing the resignation of Chrysanthos Lazaridis the close aide and chief strategist of the Prime Minister will be minding these developments as they unfold. That's it for this week. Join us here again on Monday.